Hey gang, Spitta coming at you with a video review. And this time we are taking a look at Human Alliance Barricade. Human Alliance Barricade is roughly the same size as the other Human Alliance figures. And he is this absolutely sweet um, mold of the Shelby Cobra, uh, the, I'm sorry, Salute, the, uh, it's, a it's a Ford Mustang. And it's Barricade from the first movie. And wow, I am impressed with this um, vehicle mode. Yeah, there's what appears to be possible robot kibble on the bottom, but it's just so nice looking. Out of all of the vehicle modes for the Human Alliance, this one and Skids are my favorite, but I just I love this vehicle mode. Like all the other uh, Human Alliance figures, you can open the doors, but on Barricade, it's a little bit tricky. You just have to pop the doors in a certain, just to get a certain way to pop the doors open and there are some very nice details on the inside i'm not sure oh actually i know what that is that little bit uh sticking out right there in the console that i believe is actually part of frenzy oh no it's hard plastic but and speaking of frenzy which he does come with where is the little bugger well pop that down and flip these little bits out. If I can get my nail on it. Frenzy is actually right there. Yes, it looks like Frenzy is being barfed out of the Mustang. I am aware of that. And I will show you that gimmick a little later on. But let's take a look at Frenzy. Uh, while he's in the chest, he is folded up like this. So to unfold him, we'll just unpeg him and fold him out. And he's actually the same size as some of the other Human Alliance figures. He's got uh, articulation here. He's got good articulation in the legs. Same articulation of the arms, or lack of articulation of the arms. Some chest articulation. He doesn't rotate, though. And a very limited head articulation, but he can't turn his head like the other ones can, because that's just the nature of the figure with trying to fit in there. I mean, it's tight in there. You gotta get this guy, you gotta join this guy in there pretty good. He can fit in the vehicle, though I have not successfully done this. Oh, well... I did it when I was at work, so. There we go. He's in there. He's in there pretty good. The peg actually in his back is nice and easy to peg into. So, enough with Frenzy. Let's go ahead and get him uh, transformed. And it's almost exactly like his deluxe figure transformation. With a few obvious differences. So I like to get my thumbs in here and just pull these bits apart. And that pulls that apart. So you pretty much take the most of the figure with it. Uh, first thing we'll do is just fold down the seats. And fold, well, we don't fold those down yet, but <clears throat> next thing we do is we actually unpeg. These are, the rear of his legs are actually pegged into the roof. So we unpeg that and swing the whole underside over and it'll peg in under there. Then we take, this is the rear of the vehicle, take these pieces, which is just the sides, kind of un, well, split them in half. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but those are hinges that you just kind of open up there, spread there. Then take these bits and fold them forward like this so if you see what we're doing and then you fold the legs out and you fix everything that you break so there we go and then there are nice little balancers right there hold everything into place and then you just make sure you can line everything up so he doesn't fall constantly, seem like he's gonna fall over. Next, we're gonna take, these whole units will actually rotate up and around. So we'll do the same thing over here, up and around. 
Then we'll concentrate on the arms. First thing we're going to do is take that whole section like the deluxe figure, pretty much do the same thing on both sides. And then come over here, fold out the hand on the right arm, and just fold the back window in. Now, this wheel bends in like this. I haven't figured out what that's for yet, so, and there's nothing in the directions either. So we can, I guess you could just collapse it in to give him more of a forearm. If you were wondering what I was talking about, this wheel rotates in, and I have no idea what it's for though. So over here, this is where his robot gimmick is. There is a button on the outside. You push it, and it just flips out. And this becomes, you remember in the first movie, he had that spinning, those spinning wheels of death? That's what this becomes. And it actually works really, really well for the look of the figure. Just fold everything out, and then Spin it. It doesn't have a spinning gimmick, but you can spin it yourself and that's fine. So we can put the police doors down. Now for the head. All right, so we're gonna come back here and just rotate that up and then all the way back. And I'm sorry, those little bits uh, you saw earlier in the video, those were his head. Just rotate the head up and this will actually lock into place. And then we take this back part and swing it up and then rotate the opening of the hood out to form pylon thingies. And there we go. We have Barricade. And honestly, I am really pleased with this figure. I think this is the best Barricade figure we've ever had in any of the lines. The detailing is fantastic. I don't care for the dark colors all that much but they work for the figure, and he just looks nasty, which is a good thing. He's got tons of articulation as well, which I will now show you. In his arms alone, we've got articulation there, articulation there, limited though. Articulation here. Unfortunately, he only has one real hand, very much like Bumblebee, but oh well. And same thing on this side. His hand, though, has somewhat limited articulation. It's not the greatest hand in the world, but, you know, whatever. I love his face. His head actually does open and close. Are you lover boy? Something, something, something. I want the glasses. Legs. Um, his legs are a little weird, and they have this side-to-side -side articulation. Then they have this full swivel articulation. Bend his legs, his ankles, I believe, and his, and his feet turn. I might have it backwards. His feet might actually supposed to go like this, but I haven't been able to find anything. The directions I have aren't that clear, and I've actually left them like this. You know, it might help if I had that on camera. You might have to spin the, you might want to spin those around. I've seen, I've seen two different sets of directions online. One where you do, one where you don't. I actually like to leave it. I think it is like this because the, the screw holes are pointing in. I leave it like this for one reason. This gives him much more stability in robot mode. If you move them like the feet around like that, where the, the front of the foot is bigger, it actually limits his articulation, but, or I'm sorry, his stability, but you know, you can play with that. It's your figure after all. So, uh, how does Frenzy uh, work with this guy? Well, there are a couple of different ways. The first way is you just open the back part up and Frenzy can fit back here. And actually, this is this way I like the least. I just, I don't like the, the thought of like little characters riding a transformer. I just don't care for that. So you do it like that. The other way is in his chest and that's where these parts come into play. So you just pull these out like this. 
open, make it such that you can fit him in there again. Make it such that the figure doesn't fall over. He is a little top heavy, but it's not too bad. It really isn't. So you just slide him in there. And then Frenzy is supposed to be able to reach out and grab onto these bits to act like a gunner. So and you could do that by doing it like that. So yeah, he can act like a gunner and or he can just be blah, shot out. Well, no, not really, but as you can see, there's it's just a cavity. There's no real way to whoops launch that. And I've broken this off before. This is just the front grill of the car. And I have popped this out a couple of times already. And it is a pain in the arse to get it back in. But it does eventually go back in. So now you can leave like this. If you're like me, I just like this look better. Alright, finally, the last way you can use him. And I'll be honest, I haven't quite figured it out because the way the directions have it are you fold his arm up, you put that up, move the seat like this, and then you just put Frenzy here. And he's supposed to be able to shoot that gun. Well, he's a little far away, and I have not been able to figure out for the life of me how to get that closer. I'm probably doing something wrong. Please bear in mind, I've only had this figure. I mean, you could do that? Wait a minute, is there a double hinge here? No, just a single hinge. I mean, you could do that and have him shoot barricade in the head. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, there's really, I have not been able to find a decent way to, to pose Frenzy with barricade. I just prefer I guess you could just have Frenzy sitting on his shoulder. Kind of like uh, Optimus Prime and that kid from the 80s. Ah, that's nah, great. Anyway, so out of all the... Is this guy worth it? I mean, is he worth the money that you would pay for him? Absolutely. I mean, if, if you were not happy with the barricade figure from the... Or any of the deluxe versions, this is by far, far the best version of Barricade I think we're ever gonna get. I think he's just a really nice figure. He looks great on the shelf, and don't let the pictures that you see online uh, make, help you make the decision. It, they aren't very good compared to the actual figure. I really like this figure. I recommend him strongly. Um, so far for the Human Alliance, they're batting three out of four for me. Uh, I just, I can't find anything wrong with, really wrong with this guy. And there's nothing wrong with him other than, yeah, the having the ax arm or the blade arm does look kind of silly, but that's really the only negative point. He's a fantastic figure. He's great. He's menacing. And he's exactly what a Decepticon should be. I strongly recommend him. Frenzy!